What's up guys, welcome back to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at an altcoin, Decentraland, also known as MANA, what's our pathway to a new all-time high. MANA rose crazily in the 2020-2021 bull run. We saw MANA go up over 34,000%. If you had invested $1,000 in MANA in March 2020, you would have cashed out more than $344,000 by November 2021. Right now, MANA is going through the crypto bear market, the second since MANA was launched. MANA is down 89% from its all-time high. Where are we are going to face significant resistance if we're pumping to new highs? How low can we go in this bear market? And how high can MANA go in the next bull run? In this video, we'll be taking a look at the MANA US dollar price chart from when it was launched in September 2017 to October 2022. We'll also be taking a look at the decentralized performance against Bitcoin, the decentralized performance against Ethereum, and then we'll take a look at the decentralized market cap. It got to as high as $11 billion in 2021. Since then, it has dropped to as low as $1.2 billion in the bear market of 2022. How low will it go in this bear market and how high? Can the central market cap go in the next bull run? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, if you're new to this channel and you want to make money long-term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, if you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, and chart analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. Guys, the point of recurring this video, the central land is down 7.2% in the last one week. In the last one month, it's down 18.4%. And in the last one year, it's down 13.5%. This is the central land US dollar price chart from when it was launched in September 2017 till October 2022. When the central land was launched, we saw it go from $0.0083 in October 2017 to as high as $0.29 by January 2018. That was a 3,400% increase in just 91 days. $1,000 invested in Decentraland would have returned more than $34,000. This was the first bull run we saw Decentraland pumping, and then Decentraland went through its first bear market. We saw it dip from as high as $0.29 in the bear market, finally finding its bottom on the 9th of March 2020, when it lost 95% of its value in approximately 791 days, and the central line was trading for $0.013. But guys, if you are one of those brave people that invested $1,000 in the central land on the 9th of March 2021, you would have been rewarded for your bravery because in the corresponding 630 days, we saw the central land go up more than 38,000%. If you had invested $1,000 on that fateful day when everything was crashing or going to Goblin Town, you would have gotten more than $381,000 if you held the central land for the next 630 days. All coins usually pump when the market is pumping. They pump really well to the upside. They can be very, very profitable. But the flip side is that when the bear market comes, they can dump to Goblin Town. We saw the central land in its first bear market lose 95% of its value. In the 2022 bear market, the central land is just down 89% from its all-time high. Can we go down to lose around 93, 95, maybe even 97% from the all-time high? That's very possible for the central land to do what Bitcoin has been doing and come back to test its 2018 all-time high. We'll see the central land trading for $0.25 and it will mean that from the all-time high we set in 2021, the central land will be down more than 95%. Now, if we are pumping to new all-time highs, assuming the central land has found its bottom in this bear market, currently is trading for $0.65, where are we going to face significant resistance if we are pumping to new all-time highs? The first level you want to watch out for, you want to watch out for what the central land will be doing around the $1.1 level. This is a very pivotal level for the central land. Let me zoom in so that you can see what the central land has been doing. Every time we get to that level, as we are pumping in 2021, we first got to that level in March 2021. Guess what? We couldn't go above the $1.1 level for more than a month. We finally went above it in April, May 2021. We went to as high as $1.5, but we dumped down back to $0.38. That might be the bottom for the central land in this bear market. You want to watch out for what the central land will do when we get to this $0.38 level. 
for the channel to get there right now i won't be shocked to see it lose another 39 percent of its value and from the all-time high it would mean the central line would have lost over 93 percent of its value but back to the 1.1 dollar region you can see we had a relief rally for the central line in august 2021 we got stopped out of that region we had to consolidate back at the 0.65 dollar level where we're currently trading and then we went to set new all-time highs around 5.8 dollars remember when the metaverse was trending in 2021 everybody thought the metaverse would be the new thing facebook announced they changed their name to meta everybody was going crazy on the central land that was when we saw the central land go from as low as 0.6 dollars to as high as 5.8 dollars important levels you want to watch out for after that 1.1 dollar level that 1.1 dollar level has been pivotal even in 2022 as we're dumping to goblin town we found a little support there the rally we had in august 2022 we got rejected off that 1.1 dollar level so i won't be shocked to see central land have some reaction to that level in the future that's been a pivotal level over the years and if we can get above that level the next level you want to watch out for you want to watch out for what central land will be doing around that 1.8 two dollar level another important level when we got to the new all-time high of around 5.9 dollars in november 2022 we saw the central land lose more than 69 percent of its value in just 56 days where we found support was around that 1.82 dollar level and when we were dumping to goblin town when we lost that level in april 2022 that was the start of the huge dump for the central land because from april 2022 when the central land was trading above two dollars we have seen it lose more than 67 percent of its value in just 28 days very very crazy all coins can be very very risky in the bear market how high can the central land go in the next bull run if we use the Fibonacci retracement tool from the top that came in for the central land around 5.9 dollars in november 2021 to the bottom currently for the central land that's around 0.63 dollars according to this Fibonacci retracement tool the central land can go to as high as 23 dollars by the end of the next bull run for where we are currently trading right now for mana to go back to the 2021 all-time high it has to go up 800 percent and for it to set a new all-time high getting to as high as 20 dollars it has to go up over 2900 percent it means one thousand dollars invested in the central line right here should return over twenty nine thousand dollars if it starts trading above twenty dollars in the future guys you have to remember this might not happen now this might not happen tomorrow but the ending phases of the next bull run that's how high the central line might be trading if you take a look at what the central line did in the previous bear market it consolidated for more than 798 days and after that the bull run lasted for the central line more than 623 days so the central line is going to take that amount of time to consolidate in this bear market i won't be shocked to see the central line continue consolidating till deep into 2024 but guys at some point in time in the future we are going to see bitcoin trading towards hundred thousand dollars ethereum trading towards ten thousand dollars and when that happens you expect the central line to outperform them before we take a look at the central line's performance against bitcoin let's take a look at some details about the central land in the last one year it has gone as high as 5.9 dollars and as low as 0.63 dollars it currently has a market cap of 1.2 billion dollars a fully directed market cap of 1.44 billion dollars and out of the total 2.1 billion decentralized token we have over 1.86 manas in circulation currently ranked 42 on coin market cap we have over 911,000 people that have this all coin on their watch list why do you want to hold the central land through the bear market and where can you buy some if you want to get some the central land also known as mana defines itself as a virtual reality platform powered by the ethereum blockchain that allows users to create experience and monetize content and application in this virtual world users purchase plots of land that they can later navigate build upon and monetize where can you get some decentralized land if you want to get some to hold through the bear market you can get this all coin on binance on coinbase exchange on qcoin on wobi global on BitTop, on ftx and anywhere you get your favorite all coin if you take a look at the central land's performance against bitcoin it was not able to set new all-time highs since 2018 the highest we saw the central land go against bitcoin was in april 2018 we tried again in june 2018 we we're not successful the central land was 
underperforming against Bitcoin. A lot of altcoins tend to do that in the bear market. We saw Decentraland lose more than 91% of its value against Bitcoin. But when it finally bottomed against Bitcoin on the 4th of January 2021, it went on a crazy ride to the moon. And we saw Decentraland outperform Bitcoin by over 4,600%. If you had invested one Bitcoin in Decentraland on the 1st of January 2021, guys, by November 2021, your one Bitcoin would have yielded 46 Bitcoins. But right now, we're back in another crypto bear market and Decentraland is down more than 75% against Bitcoin. Can we set new lows against Bitcoin in this bear market? That's very, very possible. I just showed you guys what Decentraland did in the previous bear market. Most times, a lot of all coins will lose around 90% of their value against Bitcoin in the bear market. But when the market starts pumping to new higher prices, when the market starts pumping to higher prices, when Bitcoin is pumping really well, it shows the market is ready for a lot of these all coins to move. And I believe the central land will be among those all coins that will move in the future. If you take a look at what the central land has done against Ethereum from October 2017, we saw the central land outperform Ethereum by more than 2,000%. Invested one Ethereum in the central land right here in October 2017, it would have yielded more than 20 Ethereum by November 2018. But the bear market is very, very brutal to all coins, and we saw the central land lose 88% of its value against Ethereum. Finally, finding its bottom on the 4th of January 2021. 2021 was very, very kind to the central land because we saw it outperform Ethereum by over 1600%. One Ethereum would have yielded 16 Ethereum at the top if you invested one Ethereum when the central land was bottoming. Right now, the central land is losing value against Ethereum. It's down 72%. In the future, when Ethereum heads towards $10,000, I believe the central land will probably outperform Ethereum in that scenario and you won't be holding the central land when that is happening. If you take a look at the central land market cap, we saw the market cap go as high as $382 billion in December 2017. Then we saw it go as low as $14 million by March 2020. It was down 96% from the all-time high. But from March 2020 till November 2021, when the central land topped, the market cap went up over 69,000% from as low as $14 million to as high as over $10 billion. Now, how high can the central land market cap go in the next bull run? If we use the Fibonacci retracement tool from the top that came for the central land to the bottom that came for the central land right here around the $1.2 billion region, according to this Fibonacci retracement tool, the central land can get to as high as $40 billion at the end of the next bull run. And for it to get there, the market cap has to go up over 31 times, over 3,100%. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think the central land will ever break the all-time high we set in 2021? Do you think the bear market bottom in for the central land? Will you be adding more mana to your moon bag? Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video. One, two.